The group No Labels has been making noise for months about a potential 2024 presidential campaign, and its self-imposed deadline is just days away. They put the date March 15th, and it's holding a massive secret meeting on Friday with 800 delegates to determine whether to put someone on the ballot. Politico is reporting that its donors, though, are, quote, starting to fear that the third party group missed its window. We are now, of course, past Super Tuesday, and the group has no clear candidate that we know of. Out front now, Joe Lieberman, the former U.S. senator and vice presidential nominee who is the founding chairman of No Labels. So what there is to know, you know, Senator. And the context is this. Nikki Haley is out. Your self-imposed deadline is next week to announce a campaign. Do you still expect to launch a formal No Labels presidential bid for 2024? Well, uh, it's up to the delegates, 800 from all 50 states that are going to meet on Friday. They're, they're our rank and file members. We got into this because our members about a year and a half ago said to us, oh, my God, another Trump-Biden match. Uh, it's not good for the country. <clears throat> it offers no hope of bringing bipartisanship uh, back to Washington, regardless of who wins. L- let's, let's look at running a third choice bipartisan unity ticket. And we said... We can't decide that until after Super Tuesday. We can't start gaining access to the ballots, which we've done. But Super Tuesday was yesterday, and sure enough, it is Trump and Biden. So we're at the moment of truth, uh, and we're ready for it. We're right on schedule. Uh, We're going to ask the delegates on Friday, do you want us to go forward to do some final surveying of public opinion? Because we've said we're not going to do this unless we have a chance to win. We're not going to be spoilers. And then uh, we will make a recommendation to these same delegates if we decide to go forward of a, of a really unique bipartisan unity ticket. Think of it, Wait. Trump, Biden, RFK Jr., Cornell West, Jill Stein, yep. and a totally different bipartisan ticket. And, 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 and I was about to mention all those other names because those are, those are really going to matter in a lot of states, at least at this point. That seems very clear. RFK Jr. polls steadily and strongly nationally. Nikki Haley has said that she would not run on your ticket. Um, but, right. uh, you know, she's, she's been very clear about that. Um, here's a couple of her supporters uh, in North Carolina when Jeff Zeleny asked them about her future and the potential of running for president in another, you know, with another label. I've been intrigued for a while now at the whole notion of a, of a legitimate third party. I've thought about that a lot. Part of me really would like to see that. So do you think she made a mistake to rule out an independent run? Well, that's her choice. And I, I think she's decided that her future is in the Republican Party. But listen to those Haley supporters and a lot of others. You know, the polling is showing that the American people, 65, 70 percent, one another choice other than Trump and Biden. And we, we've been talking to some really exceptional candidates who can offer that uh, choice. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll see what the delegates say on Friday. But I, I think this is a unique moment in history where the American people are so fed up with the two parties and the two logic probable candidates that they're going to welcome a bipartisan unity third choice on the ballot. And we're only going to do it if we think we can win. And right now, our polling tells us we can. And, 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 and that, that 800 delegates, are we going to see that process play out or is that going to be behind closed doors? Well, it's a virtual process. Uh, it, uh, but, it, but the chairman of the meeting, Mike Rawlings, uh, just a perfect no labels leader, former CEO of Pizza Hut, former mayor of Dallas, he will report uh, after the convention on what happened, and then we'll be ready to go and make a decision about a ticket uh, within the next couple of weeks, I expect.